He hails from Santurce, Canteras, Puerto Rico, by way of New York City. He weighed in at nine stone, four and a half pounds, or 130 and one half US pounds, with a record of 24 wins, three losses and one draw. He has 19 wins coming by way of knockout, introducing Daniel Alicea. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 12-round non-title attraction, wearing white trunks, hailing from Salvador, Brazil. He weighed in at nine stone, seven pounds, or 133 U.S. pounds. As boxing's only world champion with a perfect knockout record, his ring campaign includes 27 wins, no losses, all 27 wins coming by way of knockout, introducing the explosive, undefeated WBO junior lightweight champion of the world, introducing Arsenio Popo. Once again, Mickey Van is our referee in charge. Now to give instructions. 12 rounds of boxing schedule. Not a good time to go and make a cup of tea at home. Stick around for Freitas. You both had your instructions in the dressing room. Shake hands. Goodbye to your corners. Good luck. Shake hands. Well done. Daniel Alicia, the man with the dubious privilege of facing the punch power tonight. But might he put Freitas on the floor and prove the WBO wrong not to sanction him as a verifiable challenger here all kinds of possibilities it's a fascinating equation how good is Alicia now will Freitas finish him off even quicker than Prince Nassim Hamed did and that was two rounds Freitas on the far side the Brazilian who's mobbed wherever he goes in Brazil only Ronaldo is a bigger name apparently among Brazilian sportsmen one of his fights there played to a crowd of 40,000. Second out, round one. Certainly one of the most exciting fighters in the world today, Asalino Freitas in the white trunks. And Alicia, the man who had Hamed on the floor. And just to add a bit of spice, it's all taking place in Nassim Hamed's home city, and Freitas has been calling Hamed out. He wants to fight him, but Nassim Hamed is Due to fight Marco Antonio Barrera in a cracker in America in March. Good right hand from Freitas. He was taken nine rounds last time out by Carlos Rias. Freitas, and that was the longest fight of his professional career. Well, I'll see quite a technical boxer. He keeps his hands up very high. He's obviously aware. Of oh, there it is. There's the right hand. There it is. What a concussive puncher. Oh, Alicia's going to have to be stopped. He doesn't know where he is. It now. Vicky Van's not going to let it go on. He's done it again. It's his 11th first round win. This man is an incredible hitter. He brings to mind Julian Jackson of recent vintage. The great lights out puncher from the Virgin Islands. Well, Alasia is complaining, he's furious, saw the camp at the referee, but he looked out to me. I was just about to say, he's obviously aware of Freitas' punch power. He wasn't that aware. One got through, and it was one good enough to stop the fight. Well, they're complaining, they're complaining, but the fact is that Alicia was all over the place. His legs were doing a silly dance, and the referee has got to make a split-second decision. Do I let a man in this condition go out to take more from the biggest hitter in world boxing? You cannot, you can, can't possibly allow somebody who's not 100% on top of their game to go out to face somebody like Freitas. You saw what happened when Alessia, at the beginning of the fight, you know, he got caught with a good punch on his wits were about him. What was going to happen if the referee had let him go out again? Well, well the, he's on the mobile phone. Somebody back home. He's quite a character, this guy. Are you listening in Rio? Maybe we can eavesdrop the conversation. I think he's calling Paul Dempsey, isn't he? 
<laughs> just to let him know how that punch landed. There it is. Well, what a terrific right hand. There wasn't much of a gap there, but he found the power and he found the positioning of that punch right through the guard, just over the top of that jab, perfectly delivered, standing perfect to get all the power into that punch. That was technically a superb punch. And who cares whether the WBO's label was on this fight or not? You've seen one of the stars of world boxing in action tonight in this Brazilian. There's going to be a great fight in this division, by the way. Floyd Mayweather and Diego Corrales coming up on January the 20th. I'd love to see Freitas in with one of those two, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, there's so many good fights out there for him. Well, you've got to remember that Alessia you know, is no mug. He's a good fighter. Your know, good credentials. And look what Freitas did to him.